Hello, everybody. Welcome into what is happening with my hair. Welcome into IMHO. I'm Kelsey. That's Lang. What's up? And guess what, Lang? What? What, Kelsey? You have to guess. Um, okay, cold? you don't have to. Don't it is a little chilly. Uh, we're officially a month into the season, the regular season. Yeah. Maybe even month. a little more. Isn't that crazy? It feels like it just started, right? But it's well, it flying by. Didn't. Yeah. I want to talk to you about some of the most surprising things All right. that have happened or are currently happening in the first month of the NBA season. All right. Bum bum. I've got I've got two teams and a player. I that are surprising. Also have two teams and a player. Are both your teams good surprises or are some of them bad? Uh, I have one good and one okay, I have bad. two good. Oh my gosh. Although, I, I mean, positive poly. I think over we there. both agree that the, we, the Grizzlies start has not been a good surprise. Is that, a, is that on your list? That's one that I thought of. But, but that's long your, season. That's your three? Like your yes. number three? Okay. That's my, that'll be my third. The Grizzlies started off, um, what are we now? Two and something? Two and at, eight. As we tape this? Two yeah. and eight. But uh, as I tell people, it's a marathon, not a sprint, Kelsey. Championships aren't won in the first right. eight games. Long way to go. Okay, my number three. <laughs> I might get trolled for this as well. Detroit Pistons. The Detroit uh, Pistons are last in the East. Uh, but they're, like, I, that wasn't that big a surprise to me because like, they're not supposed to be good yet, I don't think. I truly have thought for the last two seasons that yeah, the Detroit we Pistons the were going to be good. Cade Cunningham. Jaden Ivey. Jaden Ivey. Isaiah Stewart. Like, they have good pieces. Jalen Durant. Like, you guys, Thompson is you guys should be better. Yeah. They're still super young. Whatever. I mean, I think. They're not uh, even second last in the East. Like, they're last in the East. I think, like, they're sort of where the Orlando Magic were a couple years ago. Now the Magic are, they're in the top, I think they're seventh in the East. Like, they're not terrible anymore. Yeah, well, whatever. Um, my good surprise team was going to be the Timberwolves. See, Seven now two. some of our coworkers yep. said they were suggesting that they, it's Bennett. Bennett was suggesting that. And I said, I don't know if I'm that surprised that they're good, though. Oh, I am. I didn't think they were going to be good. Like, I thought this trade was not a good trade. Like the Rudy Gobert trade. The Rudy trade. Gobert trade. Like giving away all your future stuff and getting in a second big man when you already have Carl Anthony Towns. Yeah. I think I'm just so high on Anthony Edwards. Sure, yeah, yeah. And he's clearly... It's sort of like it kind of doesn't matter what you put around him. Yeah. Like they're going to be great. But mm -hmm. they've kind of figured out a way to make it work. And Mike Conley's playing well. And I don't know. Shout I, out I, Kyle Anderson. I'm just like, yeah. I just love Ant that I think I didn't want to be surprised by how good the team was going to be. But I do agree with the two bigs. Like it didn't work super well last year. You had to think a Georgia Bulldog was going to be this great. Somehow right. we're always talking about Georgia on here. How about them dogs? Well, another thing that we're always talking about is Canadians. And Oh, here we go. No, I'm still doing here my number go. two. My number two is after the Dallas Mavericks puked all over themselves last year, they're really good last this year. Like they're tied for number one. How's this speaking of Canadians? I thought I, we were going. I thought you were going to go with Houston and Dylan. No. Uh, That's my number two. Dallas being tied for first in the West right now, after last year having this like weird implosion on yeah. themselves, being and it's not like I am surprised that Luca's good or that like certain pieces are working. It just seemed like the team chemistry was off last year. Yeah. It seemed like they were really just like a mess and somehow they're really good this year. And they didn't make any like foundational changes. Nothing it's still huge, Luka right? And Kyrie mm -hmm. and Jason Kidd and you know. Tim Hardaway thing. Jr. is like yeah. balling now. Yeah. Um, so for my player, I was gonna go Tyrese Maxey. You're surprised that he's really, 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 yeah, really, like, really, really, you know, really, really, really good. Philly, trades away James Harden, who mm -hmm. led the league in assists last year and is an incredible scorer and all that stuff. And and now Tyrese Massey, Maxey is averaging 28.6 points per game. He's in the After top 10. After a fitty piece. Um, I mean, he's playing great. Mm -hmm. uh, he's really stepped up and become, like, uh, that superstar level player, that second superstar in Philly. And maybe they don't have to go out and trade for another big star to, to put with Joel Embiid. Yeah, they developed one. Who do you have? Dylan Brooks the leading villain. the NBA in three-point percentage, being 53% per that game. guy. 53% from the three. It is a small sample size. 
Dylan Brooks. If we had that small sample size right now, we would be shouting it from the rooftop as well. So that is my True. number one biggest surprise for the first month of the season. Dylan Brooks is a good basketball player. And the Rockets are good. The six the and three. Out. That should that yeah. should have been the number one. The Rockets are good this year. Yeah, they've been I good mean, for a while. Got a new coach. Got Dylan, Fred Van Vliet. Mm -hmm. You know, like they, it's all kind of clicking all of a sudden there. Yeah. So. Shout out Houston. Shout out Houston. Houston's gonna be really good this year. Quote that. Instead of friggin' Detroit. It's a new commercial. Yeah, whatever. Uh, we'll see you guys next week on IMHO. Let us know who you think or Your what surprise. you think is the biggest surprise of the first Put month the of the comments. season. Down there somewhere. Let us know. We'll see you next week.